Hi, Lou Agave from Long Island Loot Tequila. Please follow my social media. Hey, Age of Agave. We're sipping with Lou today. Look what we have. The new Don Falano 20. It's a celebration of their anniversary, okay? 20 years already. It's a limited edition. It's really called an Añejo. He'll tell you why. Oh, uh, yeah. Well, there's some, there's some eight-year-old XA in this also. We're going to talk about it, Lou. And two Añejos. So all Good. blended together. I'm this is 44.4 ABV. We're talking about 88.8 .8 proof, guys. Okay, they only made, you ready? 9,000 bottles. We got, a, we got a chance to sip this with uh, Kevin. Kevin Balmore. Gave us a little sample. I Thank you, Kevin. Here. So this is now 1146 in the Valley. Okay, but where the agave is from? Remember, 1146 always goes uptown to get their agave. So you That's get right. them from Los Altos. We're going to Mexico in two weeks. That, and guess where we're going? Tell them. Hey, we're going to be up in the Highlands. We're going to oh. be in the Don Filano Barrel Room. Barrel Room in, the, in Los Altos. So. We're going. Herman used to do that with T1, and that's the way all the brands, as far as I know, do it at 1146. So we got Sergio Mendoza, who's the master distiller. I believe he owns this brand. He works with his uncle. And this is going to be nice. Let's just open up a little. Yeah, we're going to let it open while we talk. Actually, I can smell the sherry on the nose right here. So this is uh, Los Altos Agaves, like we just said, the low-pressure autoclave. That's what they do over there. Right, it's, no column on this little at all. No column, and I like that. I, and and I'm all copper. Fan. All copper and low-pressure autoclave. So, you know, yeah. they're, they're you know all of those guys, they're an expert at this that's time. What, that's what we like. You know what, listen, if you're not going to uh, cement... Brick oven, right? You know what I mean. We're talking about low pressure. Yeah, I mean they do it right. They take the time. It's almost cup. like an oven. Yeah, open air fermentation, stainless steel, proprietary yeast, double distilled in all copper. And now, so they use used sherry casks, two hundred and twenty liters French oak ex burgundy casks, no additives. And again, it's blended with three different tequilas. We'll tell you about that in a second. So we're talking here, Lou, just to clarify, we got two different sherry casks, and we have. Burgundy barrels, wine barrels that this rested in. Right. And matter of fact, I have it written here. The XA pro portion comes, was planted in 2008. It was distilled in 2014. It's eight years old. It was done in the 220 liter French oak ex Burgundy cast. Came from a uh, field, a rancho called El Maguey. So this family, these are three family ranches. That, so these three expressions that were blended are from three separate places. Three different towards. Totally different. And then the Añejo, the first one, was planted in 2014. It's uh, one year and six months old. That came right, from La months. Tuna. Yep. Right. La Tuna was the name of that ranch. And the last Añejo came from another area, and that was the first fill was in Oloroso. So that was uh, Sherry Cass. Uh, 21 months old? Uh, one year and nine months right. for that guy. And that one came from a field called Milpilas. So they blended all three of these together, and that's what we got here. Right. So let's, uh, let's just go on the nose, Lou. A little sweet on the nose. Yeah, I'm get raisin right away. Matter of oh, fact, yeah. when Kevin gave us a fruit. sample last week, dried fruit, fruit raisin. Now, I, I get the cherry, cherry like because of the wine yeah. casks. You know, now, I have to be honest with you. I did taste this last week with Kevin. Um, I just got my own bottle. I brought it here for us, for Lou and I to try. I want to give it a second taste. I want to give it a chance to open up. Yeah, me I was too. I was sipping other tequilas that day. This is going to be my first sip of the day. So let's. Yeah, ahead. this is my first sip of the day too. So we'll take our time with this. Cheers. Thanks, brother. And thank you for the T-shirt. He bought me this for my birthday last Happy month. Happy birthday, Lou. Thank you. And then... 49. Yeah, 49. So what are you getting on the nose, Lou? I'm getting... I get honey all the time. I'm getting like a cognac wine thing. I'm getting some cherry from the from the wine it's cast. Definitely, definitely, a raisin, pr pr like, a, like a prune or a raisin. Yeah, that dried fruit, you know, Lou, it's definitely an XA. I don't care if they blend it in yeah, yeah, you or not. I would agree. You're yeah, talking about yeah. an eight-year... And yeah, okay. So, you know, here at Fuente Seca, they do a lot of blending and a lot of great aging. They're famous at that. Yeah, they make a 7, Lou. They make a 9, an 11, a 15, an 18, and a 21. Yeah. So right here, you got 8-year. That's Enrique. Yeah. Yes, Enrique. Oh, man. And that's, uh, you know, that's Sergio's uncle. They work together. So, yeah, there's no doubt I'm getting like a raisin prune. I'm getting cherry. I'm getting honey. You get baking spice on oh, those. You ready for this? Yes. Chocolate. Chocolate. I, you know what? I can see that. It's a, it's I told that, Kevin the other night. It's I like a bitter some, chocolate note. Definitely. Like some light clove, caramel a little bit. Mm -hmm. Like you say, the fruit, spice, and uh, maybe, yeah, definitely citrus, yeah. Let's uh -huh. go in and taste it a little. Now it's got a, it's got a, a good mouthfeel. Mm. You got some heat there. I got chocolate again. It's really funny. Okay. Chocolate, honey, spice, fruit, heat. You're absolutely right That's about that. That's gonna be the, the first sip. But yeah, yeah, I mean 88.8 .8 proof. Yep. Uh, some citrus, yeah. And we're gonna go, we're gonna let this open a little further there. So we know the first the first tequila these guys produced 20 years ago, 2002. Yeah. Was the their high proof blanco. Blanco, right, right. right. So this is an homage to them. Yeah. They did do a 10 year anniversary. Yeah, they did. And now they're doing a 20 year anniversary. Right. I don't think I tried that. And you know, mm -hmm. Don Falano means Don anybody. That's the the name. That's what it means. Hmm. 
Let's hold the bottle up and move. That is a nice bottle, isn't it? Nice decanter almost. It's got a lot of info on the back. Really nice. I'm so glad you brought this over. Thank you. This is uh, not easy to find. And uh, it's about 200 bucks. So yeah, that's, yeah, now we're going to have to talk about that when we give a rating. Well, uh, when you're looking at an eight-year XA, Lou, the time and barrel, angel share, you know, what it cost them. Of course. You yeah, know. Maybe this isn't, you know, so ridiculous for $200. But uh, this is nice. To me, Lou, this is a late-night sipper. This is a special occasion kind of tequila. This is a gift if you want to give it to someone, you know. Yeah, but by no means... Is this one of those overly sweet, no. you know, uh, bombs, caramel, vanilla? This no. is a classy, this actually somewhat up sweet. Yeah, it's not overly sweet at no. all. I mean, I I would put it borderline myself as a dessert uh, late at night sipper. I mean, I think I could do this anytime, but it would be even better. Than no, but I, I see this with a cigar. I oh, see yeah. this with a with dark chocolate, like you say, you know, vanilla mm -hmm. pairing. Um, it's mm. delicious, Lou. And actually, I tell you what, I, I scored this in 88. Yeah. Um, and I was on the fence, 88, 87. And I'm right. Nice I'm, I'm going to stay with the 88. Yeah. Um, a matter of fact, um, you know what? I'm going to go 88, too. 88 is perfect. That's right where it should be, I think, for me. Uh, and that might even be considering the price. You know, it could drop down to 87 because of the price. But I'll stick around 87, 88 myself. So, yeah. you know, I think this is great. So, hey, listen, listen man. Listen, Lou, like you said, there's not 9,000 bottles out there. That's they're it. Not, that's they're not making thing. any more. So that's, that's, that's another, another reason thing. for the price right. point. Right, right. So, yeah, I mean, being that it's really, really an XA and it's a great looking bottle. They only made 9,000. Comes the price in a great, isn't great presentation yeah. box. Lou. Really nice. You know, honestly, I mean, I think this is a special gift for anyone. If you can find it out there. Right. I would say so, too. So uh, we like it, you know, and uh, salute.